Here we have uh, question 8 on the June 2012 paper uh, talking about symmetry. So we've got to remember that uh, line of symmetry is if we split a shape in half then each half would fold on top of each other and uh, no gaps. Um, we can see that if we draw a line straight down the centre here we can create a shape. We put shading in this one square here and that will give us the line of symmetry. Um, we could have put um, the square in other places. Uh, for example we could have put it here and that would also create a line of symmetry through this position here. So there are various places, but this one would have worked. Um, the next one is asking us to shade in two squares um, to make a shape with order rotational symmetry 2. Well, what we need to remember about order rotational symmetry is uh, if we give an example of a rectangle, we look at how many times it spins through a full turn of 360 degrees and all the times that it uh, looks the same, then we keep counting up. So a rectangle upside down once, back to the same twice, so it has order rotational symmetry 2. So if we look at this shape, we're being asked to add two more squares. So if we look, we've got a bit of jutting out here, so it would suggest we ought to have a bit jutting out here, otherwise it won't turn upside down and look the same. So we're going to have to shade in that bit there and that bit there and then that will give us a shape with order rotational symmetry too. We should of course use tracing paper to check our answer so if we put the tracing paper over and put our pen point down there then we should find it spins, looks the same upside down and then looks the same back where it was. So that's how you do symmetry.